everyone, I'm Jess and I'm the School Liaison Officer here at South Shields Marine School. I'm just filming this really quick video to talk you through our online application process um, via our website, um, kind of talking you through exactly how you can apply for one of our courses. So if you go onto our website, which is stc.ac.uk forward slash marine, you will then see our landing page and the um, tabs along the top. So if you select new starters, um, and then you will see the list of courses that we have on offer. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be interested in a pre-cadetship in engineering. So if I select that course, um, you can then see an overview of the course, so exactly what to expect, um, and kind of the different progression routes and things like that as well. Now, once you've decided that that particular course is right for you, you can then see the apply online button at the side. So I'm just going to click on that. So with the application form, it kind of pre-fills in the course that you're interested in and then asks for um, some kind of basic personal details. So I will just go through and fill those in now. Um, country, um, United Kingdom, and then I will just make up a phone number. So I'll then click next page. That's all of my personal information um, kind of filled in. So then ask for the last school that I attended. Um, so it'll be the school that you're currently studying your GCSEs at or um, the previous kind of school that you did. So again, I'm just going to fill in STC. This is now the page where it asks for your qualifications. So when it asks for qualifications, it's referring to GCSEs or kind of vocational equivalents. Um, we understand that obviously for some people you won't have any predicted grades yet. Um, you might just kind of have target grades and things like that, and that's absolutely fine. So don't worry if you think, I don't have any grades to apply with. Um, you can still get your application in and we can still kind of get you um, through the process, kind of get the ball rolling, um, and then we can kind of fill in the those predicted grades once you know them um, and obviously once you've got your kind of actual grades in the summer. So it's just asking you to list kind of the subject um, and the qualification. There is also a box if you don't have any qualifications. Again, we will have a look at how we can support you and find a course for you. So I'm just going to fill in Maths GCSE. Um, I'll say I've got a predicted grade C and then you could kind of go down the list and fill those in. Then if I click next page, it then um, brings up the help and support section. So we're really big on making sure that you feel confident throughout your studies. Um, and that might mean kind of providing support for um, anyone inside or outside of the classroom. So that could be for a learning difficulty, a disability or any other additional support needs. So if you think maybe you've had them through school and you think you, that you might need them at college, then you can let us know by filling in this box. You can also select option A, which kind of says that you'd like to talk to somebody more specifically about the support, um, or you could select option B, which kind of states you don't need any support at the moment, but if you do in the future, then you know that you kind of have that option. There is also the option there as well for I require financial guidance. So this could be that you think you might be eligible for a bursary. So you can then fill it, uh, sorry, tick that um, ticky box. And that again, kind of lets us know early, lets us know at the beginning of your application process that you um, are flagged as somebody who might need that additional support in putting in a bursary application. So then if I click onto the next page, it then kind of asks questions, how did you hear about us and things like that. And then at the bottom, it has the green submit button. So that then will submit your application and then you will kind of have a confirmation that we've received that um, and then a kind of quick telephone call with somebody about the particular course um, and the level and things like that that are right for you. So I hope this um, short video has been useful. If you do have any further questions, then you can just give me an email at jessica.wells at timecoast.ac.uk. Um, but I hope to see you all enrolled in the future. Thanks.